Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome to the strawberry patch. As you can see, we got some issues with weeds. And that's what we're going to address with the backpack sprayer. And we're going to talk about that in just a bit. Uh, we got some weeds in the row metal. And we got some grass inside the plastic. We've also got some strawberry blooms. These are not covered up. Which they're a little farther behind. And I'll show you. See this bloom right here where it's black? Frost killed that one. That, that's no longer a viable bloom. Most of those have been. But there's some more coming on on this plant. <coughs> See this bloom here? Frost killed hit. See that black spot in it. And that's going to happen. Uh, this bloom is good. So we're just starting to bloom a little on these, which is a good thing. Now, the ones under the row covers, they're a lot farther along. So are the weeds. Uh, I uncovered them today, and you can see. See how weedy those are? Yeah. That's a problem, but we're going to address it. Uh, the blooms on these look much better. You can see quite a few blooms on them. And we've got some berries. See there? They're starting to form some berries on these. Uh, so they're, they're further along. They're also weedier. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to spray between these row middles with Roundup. There's a couple options we have. Uh, <coughs> we can use a product called Stinger over top if we're 30 days away from harvest, which once they start blooming, you're within 30 days. Uh, for broadleaf and some annual grasses over top of the strawberries. That's a 24C label. That's a special label for the state of North Carolina. Uh, you want to check with other labels or other states. The grass that's over in the hills, like right here, we can spray with a product called Post. Now, this is not an endorsement of any of these herbicides, but this is what we'll be using. We can spray with a product that won't hurt the strawberries, but will kill the grass. Uh, we could also use, in the row metals, Gramoxone, brand name Paraquat. But it is, uh, that's some pretty dangerous stuff. So, we try not to use that if we can. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to simply use Roundup, a generic Roundup, glyphosate. And I'm going to use it in the row metals. And uh, use a shield on my sprayer. And try to kill everything in the row metals. Once I get all these sprayed, then I'll go back over top of the strawberries and spray with post. Trying to kill the grass. Uh, that's what we're planning on doing. Now I'm waiting to <coughs> real, late <coughs> real late in the evening to uh, make sure there's no wind drift on the roundup. So let's, uh, we'll get started here and see how it goes. I'm just going to spray. I had to go buy a new backpack sprayer, which is a common thing. Seems like every year. But I'm just going to start here at the top and spray down a little ways to see how far I get. So hang on.
Okay, let's talk a little bit about the equipment we're using here. This is a shield that goes on the end of the sprayer. And what I do, I kind of can it like this, so I'm spraying toward the middle. Now, I'm using glyphosate, glyphosate, or Roundup, whatever you want to call it. Uh, glyphosate is the active ingredient in Roundup but it is systemic so if it touches it uh, the uh, plant will draw it down in the root and that's how it kills the root so uh, uh, that's how it kills the root now if I was using Gramoxone or Paraquat it'll only if I hit a leaf on the strawberry it'll just kill that leaf it'll just knock that leaf off but it don't kill down to the root it just burns down basically which is safer for the strawberries, but not as good for the weeds. So it's a trade-off, as most things are. But, uh, and of course, I'm just using a hand pump, four-gallon backpack sprayer. And I got down to where the row covers were. So uh, I'll have to uh, probably hit this early in the morning, call them for rain tomorrow night. Uh, I'm not using any type of sticker or weatherproof or a rain shield type spray. So I will need about six hours for it to... Uh, stay on it before it becomes uh, rainproof. So, if you like what we're doing, please subscribe. Those that have subscribed, we thank you. See a video you like, comment, whatever, please let us know. Um, this is one way to do strawberries. There's another way, which uh, I'll talk about at some other point, but which we should have, but the weather wouldn't allow it. So, uh, which would have been a better way. But, uh, you know, like I said, if you see a video you like, comment, whatever, and thanks for watching. We will talk to you guys later. Bye.